Hey everyone, welcome to another Goody Reader review video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. We have here something very special for you guys. It's the brand new yoga book, and this is the Android version. Let's give you some sort of specs. It's an Intel processor. It's four cores, 2.4 gigahertz. It's 10.1 inches. The resolution is very solid, 1920 by 1200, and it is an IPS screen. There's 64 gigs of internal memory, 4 gigs of RAM, it has Wi-Fi, and it has an 8500 milliamp battery because it's a tablet that should give you around 15 hours plus of battery life. This tablet is unlike most others that we've reviewed in the past. Show them, Peter. It's super, super thin, really nicely built, very, very thin. Uh, you have a very nice design on the edge because this is the kind of aluminum hinge. Uh, on the side, we have 3.5 uh, millimeter headphone jack. We have volume up and down, speaker, power button, microphone right there and there. And you have another speaker, HDMI out, SIM card and SD card, and you have a uh, micro USB port. And on the back, you have nothing but just some certifications and stuff. So we'll open yeah, this no up. Yeah, no rear facing camera or anything like that. Yeah. So we're going to open this up for the first time here. And what we see is two sides, one screen and one digitizer stylus pad. And uh, we're gonna keep it big just for the, the first little while here and then we'll go into the individual screen when we show each individual app. It is just a standard Android experience, nothing special there. This is the keyboard that really kind of shines. It's completely flush, as you can see right there. It's incredibly flush, this has a uh, gyroscope and accelerometer on it. It only affects the top screen obviously because there's no screen here. You don't need to really visualize that. Also has a tablet-esque um, kind of pad so you can click on stuff like that. Chrome gives it a little bit of a laptop feel even though it technically, well it is a laptop but it's not Windows so it's technically a laptop. Okay got it. Yeah so that's kind of what we're dealing with here. So this keyboard is very exciting. Not only is it basically a capacitive keyboard, but it actually does some very interesting things. It does. So what you also get with this tablet included is this kind of ledger. And it is magnet snap, so you can take it off. We'll leave it on there for now. You can pull these pages back and rip them off individually. So we're going to go to the note. Thanks for opening that. So we have some scribbles here. We're going to go to a new note. So this is the note section. And what you can do here, you can interact with this a number of ways. You have your finger as capacitive. You have the pen with the stylus on there. Now we have to note that you have to go into the settings menu of Android and turn any pen off. That will allow you to draw both on here when you turn the tablet uh, pad on and the screen itself so you have to turn that on but you can interact with it with that you can also press and hold this button down below you see pen mode and you can now draw on it here now the beauty of this is that you don't have to touch the screen and you can rest your hand here and go like that but you might be asking well I can't see what I just drew here because there's nothing here well they have a solution for that and what they did is they've included this ledger for uh, your use. It is a notepad ledger. There are many pages in here of just notepads. You also have magnetic so you can replace it. This is magnetic in and of itself. You can put it down here. Yeah, so it's not going right. to, you know, it, it's, it's, it's in a place so it's easy to draw on. You can then draw on here through all the pages. So it doesn't matter the thickness because it'll still function. Now you're saying, well, that's great, but how will it know I've written on here because it doesn't make a mark? Well, they've also thought of that. They give you these pen refills. So what you do is you take the back cap off or the top cap, you put the stylus in the hole there and you bend it so that you get a little bit of grip. You can then take that off and insert the pen cartridge. And what that'll let you do is both interact with the screen and the page itself. So if I wanna write my name or if I have a receipt and someone says sign here I can go like that I have their digital copy and I have the physical copy right here 
So anything within these kind of borders will allow you to, oh yeah, change the color. So you change the color to blue, that won't change the pen. It'll just change the screen. Uh, red with the pencil, red pencil, everything changes and you can really see what you've written because obviously you're writing with a pen, but you're using it with the stylus which interacts with the tablet. So let's just take a quick tour and give you a sense on what this Android 6.0 tablet is all about. Uh, you drag at the top, get some quintessential options here, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi networks, do not disturb, and so on. If you click the little gear here, you get the settings menu. This is where you can turn the any pen functionality on or off. Uh, you also have Intel Smart Video, improves uh, video playback and stuff like that. Go about this tablet, you can actually see some of the build numbers, kernel versions, things like that. If that sort of thing interests you. You have little directories here, all the Google stuff, create business kind of stuff. And here's all sort of the Lenovo stuff built in here, share it, sync, everything like that. You can interact with the pen if you want to be all nice and fancy dancy. Yep. Click here and kind of get all the preloaded stuff on here. We have loaded in uh, three apps, but everything else here actually ships with it. So McAfee uh, Security, ArtRage. Ooh. Look how artistic I am. Peter, you are an artiste. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, color palette going on here. Oh, yes, yeah, some of that. So this, I think, is oh. this is more robust in terms of like creating art than... Um, Paint. Yeah, than the, the sort of the app that we showed you yeah. at the very beginning of this video when we showed you the note-taking functionality. This will allow you to uh, choose more of a color hue yeah. selection. You're just not locked into like four or five different colors. That's looking good. Yeah, and of course there are all sorts of uh, apps for drawing sure. and coloring books. Yeah. I can see this pen being awesome with coloring books. Super easy, you just choose the paint bucket every single cell and you can just <laughs> fill it perfectly. Yeah. This is the Amazon Kindle app. Um, it, it, I mean, this is a very fast tablet. You're not gonna have to worry about refreshes or uh, you know, page turn lags. It's going Unlike to be, an e-reader. Right. It's going to be very quick. You can do many different things. You can do different colored highlights. You can add notes. Yes, you can flip this over and use the keyboard, but we have it anchored down for the sake of this review. You can save notes. You can also press the text button up top, change the brightness, use the system brightness, which we want to do. Text size, everything changes live. Different colored backgrounds, different colored uh, text, and you have, uh, sorry, different style text. You have Booker Lee there as well. Margins and line spacing. You also get some settings over here to share some stuff on social media platforms, and anything else you kind of uh, download as an app will kind of be able to share. I wonder if anybody does share book quotes on Google Hangouts. I don't think anyone shares anything on Google Hangouts. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm in total agreement. So let's take a look at some manga. So this is One Piece. And uh, if you had this in landscape mode, what it'll be is you just endlessly scrolling it because it's traditional that manga and comics are in portrait, which means upright. If you had it in landscape, which is the wide setup, you would just scroll it endlessly. This way you actually get a traditional experience. You turn pages. Yes, there are ads down below. Um, it tells you which way to read and all that. So we can pinch and zoom. And you don't really need to because it's a very big screen. You yeah, you don't really have to. Yeah, you yeah. can read everything. Uh, but if you want to see something and go, ha ha, this guy looks funny looking to meet that chicken, you can you can zoom in on that. But it gets a little pixelated if you go any yeah. closer. It won't render anything. It'll just kind of blur. So we have here Comixology. And most recently, you could log into Comixology via your Amazon account, which is very handy. Once again, like with the manga experience, you don't need to pinch and zoom. But Comixology has something cool called Guided View. And this will allow you to kind of zoom in panel by panel as you switch it and it'll kind of look like that as you go along. Depending on the size of the cell, uh, like these will look good in portrait because they fit very well and ones that are more landscapey will look better like 
obviously doesn't look great in portrait, but it is kind of yeah. cool guided view. And the colors and everything are very vibrant. The screen isn't too reflective. I've noticed it's not as reflective as other tablets. We've it's because it's an IPS yeah. instead of like an LCD screen. So you're going to get really good battery life doing things like comics and manga because it's not processor heavy and you have a really large battery in this 8,000 plus milliamps. So this is a royalty free HD video on YouTube. We're going to show you the screen quality, start off at half volume, work our way up and we'll see what we can see. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah. The audio quality is Dolby Atmos, yep. so you will get better speaker quality than you would, you know, with a tablet with just maybe one speaker or stereo speakers right. with no Dolby. Right. And obviously, it's not as loud as, say, the 9.7 iPad Pro or the. Or the, the Amazon line of fires. I mean, those have been time and time again some of the loudest and clearest speakers we've ever reviewed on camera the larger ones yeah. and sort of the older ones yeah, too the yeah. newer ones aren't as loud and they're yeah. sort of like the build quality is going down with amazon just because they want to cut costs they want to make it cheaper yeah. the hd 8.9 with the four speakers dolby that was crazy yeah that that lit up an entire room yeah but we're focusing on this but yeah i'm I'm really impressed by the video quality. I really hope that it comes across in this video that you're watching how great this screen really is when playing 1080p video. Uh, sound quality is no slouch either. It's right. certainly a lot better than a lot of other tablets that we have reviewed. Uh, in the end, it's not too often that we see a keyboard and a tablet running Android. It's mostly all Windows tablets. Yeah, this is very interesting. It's attached too, so it's not an option. This is meant to be this way. You have a full keyboard, you have a shift button, an alt button. Uh, it's not like those Bluetooth keyboards you buy for your Android device. I mean, this has like a trackpad, it has a pen, it has a like Wacom style receiver. It even, it even treats itself like a laptop when you open up tabs and minimize screens. It's actually very, very good combination of the two. And the keyboard, we've never seen a keyboard uh, with a tablet before that is like full just capacitive. Like yeah. there's no actual physical yeah, keys. Yeah, exactly. So I rate this tablet very highly. I, I would, would probably well, give yeah. it a 9 out of 10 in terms of it's breaking the mold. It's unconventional. It's doing something new that we've never really seen before in, in the tablet space. And this is our first yoga book that we've ever reviewed here. Uh, and it is new. It just came out in October. So we are looking at something that just hit the market. And when you compare it against the new Surface book that Microsoft just uh, announced, or looking at some of the new um, MacBook Pros that Apple has just announced, I think that this deserves a serious look. Um, I believe it's retails for around like five five to six hundred dollars yep. so you're not breaking the bank with this but the full price and the details will be in the description below everyone thanks for watching for a review of the new android yoga book my name is michael this is peter everybody take care